Hello everybody and welcome back to the Beginners Pro. So it's Saturday morning, 9 a.m. And I'm about to go to my first expo since I started back collecting tarantulas and creepy crawlies of all kinds. And I'm honestly just really excited about it because this used to be a really good expo and it happens every month. So I'm really excited to see if it's still as good as it used to be. Um, but what you're probably wondering is why is my lunchbox on the table or on the camera? Well, that's because in Michigan right now where I live, it's about 15 to 20 degrees today. And I just want to make sure that I get what I buy safely from the expo to my car and then again from my car to my house. And I've seen a lot of people talking about asking about that recently. And I just want to show what I do. Well, I just use my lunchbox because you just need something that will keep the air inside warm. At least as warm as the expo air or the air obviously in your house. And um, your lunchbox will do just fine for that. A little cooler would do fine for that. You don't really need a heat pack. I hear a lot of people talk about heat packs and ways to keep it warm. They really don't need it. They just need to keep it the same temperature as the Expo while you're transporting to the car. And I want to show you a little extra thing that I do with mine. As you see inside of it, it's not empty. I have just a couple of knit caps. You can use a towel or whatever to fill the space. And I do that because, well, this is like a sling capsule. You know, probably what I'm going to be buying. Just a couple of these. And I can put it in here. And now it's not going to move around. He's going to be safe. He's going to be warm the whole time I'm walking through the Expo. And I now have this bag to carry everything I buy around in it. And... If I get something a little bit bigger, obviously, I can just make a little bit more room. Put it back in there. And now, see, they're both still safe and secure. And if I buy something a little bigger, I can obviously take these out, put them over the top, or just put them on my kid's head and he can wear it around for the rest of the day because he's coming with me. Well, that's about it for all this. I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you soon. Okay, so I'm back for the expo. So the question is, what did I get? Well, for the little bit of money I brought there, about $60. Um, of course, I spent a little more than that, but that's okay. I can eat ramen for the rest of the week. Uh, I think I did a really good deal. Let's let's start with the smallest thing that I got here, which is a little sling. Of course, it's just a little glowy lid to you guys right now. I will try to get some close-up videos of that and add that in probably right about now. Okay, this is a Brazilian blue... Dwarf Beauty would be the common name for it. Now, let me see how badly I can butcher this. They told me this while I was there. They said it multiple times, and they said it so fast, I have no idea what they said still. I had to look this up. A Dolly Cloth L Diamantis Mantin Mantinesis? A Dolly Cloth L Diamantinesis. Okay. I probably way butchered that, but I'm trying. Okay, let's go up a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger sling. This guy is about... Um, the Brazilian blue here is only about half an inch. This guy is probably close to two inches. This is a Venezuelan sun tiger, or a... The scientific name is... Pesalmophios... Arminia, Arminia, it's P. Arminia, I know what everybody just calls it. Um, I'm gonna guess that's Fall Mophesis, Fius. I'm probably butchering that. I really need to look up the uh, the phonics for how to say most of these words. I, I'm practicing at them though a bit. Okay, and now let's go to the largest thing I got. And once again, I will be obviously show you some close-ups of that. I probably already have put those up on the screen by now. The last thing I got is, let me move these out of the way a little bit. How about that? You can actually see him on there. That's right, it's a corn snake. This is an Okidi. I guess that's how you would pronounce it. 
He's pretty orange. He's really pretty. He says $35 on him, but you know, when you go to these shows, you can usually wheel and deal, and I got him for about $30. I got the P. Armenia and the Brazilian Blue Dwarf for $40. So actually, I think I got a really good deal on, on all of this. And now, this is the problem when you go to an expo, you don't know what you're going to get. You come home, and you realize you really don't have the setup for this guy. So I'm going to have to run out and get him the stuff I need, figure out what I have here, and get him a setup. So we're going to cut to that, say, right now. And I'm back. So what do you need for an enclosure for a corn snake? Well, it's pretty simple. Well, first, like anything, you need the cage. I happen to have this left over from my old collection of tarantulas. It's about a five-gallon aquarium. I have the mesh top, and as you can hear, I actually have Velcro on the bottom of these and in the corners because tarantulas can actually lift these, so I was told, at least the larger ones. And snakes are escape artists themselves, so it's probably actually a really good idea to have that instead of having to put some weight on it. So, you got that. The other thing you need, obviously, is a water dish, so, well, we got that. A little green one might be a little too big might have to go dig out something a little smaller for in here hmm I'll be right back and just like that I'm back so let's exchange this rather large one for a much smaller one okay the other thing you're gonna need obviously is a place for your guy to hide in I have this left over too this was supposed to be like a very colorful one I really made it, it was supposed to look like a Dr. Seuss little thing you know, I do have a kid, so he's kind of found it interesting. I have little windows on it. And then there's the door. You can see it cut out right there. So we do have a nice little colorful hide. And, of course, we need some sort of substrate, something to go on the bottom. So we're going to use, for right now, although I plan on switching over to a Aspen uh, shavings, it's just a uh, newspaper. Pretty simple. So... Let's get this put together. Put this out of here. First thing we gotta do is obviously put down our newspaper. Pretty simple. Let's figure out the size we need. I'm gonna use two layers, so. Put that right about there. Not too hard. Remember, kids, do not use your mother's sewing scissors. I do not want to be responsible for what happens to you. Remember, I did that once as a kid. Never did that again. Okay. okay put this down here a little bit. I'm sorry, I know I'm off camera a bit, but... I don't have a whole lot of workspace here for what I do. There we go. Let's put that in there. Put it down kind of nice and tight. Pretty simple. Oh, well... Let's not use the big water dish again, shall we? There's the small one. And we'll put our hide in there. And that's pretty much all set. All we need now is to add the snake and some water. So, oh yes, don't worry. I have not forgotten about the heat source. Everybody out there probably yelling right now, you need heat. I do have a lamp that will be going on top of here. It's not exactly what I'd like to be using. It's just kind of what I had still sitting around. It's got a nighttime bulb in it. So we will be using that. This weekend, coming up, I'm going to get probably a heat mat for the bottom. I think I prefer that for him so he has heat constantly and I don't have to have the light on all the time. But for now, that'll keep him warmed up and I think I'll put it away from his hide over by the water so that he can hide in there and stay cool and he wants to come out for heat, he can come out for heat at the moment. So, I think it's time we put our snake back in there. By the way, I'm talking to a friend of mine, and she really wanted to name this. So, I think we're going to name him, or her, Ginger. Now, I don't know how handleable this guy is, and I've never picked up a snake, guys. Oh, he is not happy. So, you know what? We're going to be the more gentle way. We're just going to let him go in, because I don't want to handle him for a little while. 
I'm going to give him probably a week or two in there, a couple feedings, get used to seeing me, and then I will pick him up and start handling him and getting him used to, you know, the human feel and all that. I don't expect him just to be tame when I get him, although I would assume that anybody who was breeding these guys has been handling him already. That doesn't mean he likes me. Come on, buddy. Let's, let's give you a little hand, huh? Yeah, there we go. He's a lot bigger than I expected. Look at that. That's a pretty big snake right there for $30. I expected him to be a little smaller. There, I hope you like this home a whole lot better. You didn't like being in here very much. Look at those orange colors. And yeah, I'll get a, a much better quality video for everybody. Got my phone. I will be getting a better quality video camera if this all works out. If everybody enjoys this. If I get some, you know, likes and subscribers and all that. Of course, I get my camera out. What's he do? He starts hiding behind his hide. There you go. It's a very pretty snake. What are you doing over there, huh? Camera shy? Very pretty snake. Well, that's about it for this video. Before it goes, I do want to announce that I am planning to have a 100 sub giveaway. So when I reach 100 subs, I am planning to give away something small. Uh, maybe a sling or a scorpion, something of that nature. I'm not sure what exactly it will be yet. As we get closer to that mark, I will let you know. Uh, I am quite a ways off from 100 still, but I'm very optimistic in the growth of this channel. And I just want to thank everybody who's helping me out early on and subbing me and supporting me. I also want to let everybody know that I now have an Instagram and a Facebook page for this channel. I will be posting updates on my animals, progress, uh, housing, just pictures of them in general. If you're interested in that kind of thing, the links will be in the description below. Follow one or both. I will be doing different things on each one. And as always, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you're new here, please click the subscribe button. Share this with your friends on discords, forums, anywhere you can. Get the word out. Help this channel grow. I greatly appreciate it and I thank you for all your help and support.